MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Seattle Mariners. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go and taking the ball for Seattle. Bryce Miller. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled. Batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time Leave tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. The maybe it's the motion. Lever. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Glaber Torres, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Yeah. That's in for a strike. The wind and the pitch. And it is two and one. And that's outside. Back up the middle in a base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, here's Aaron Judge, a former Rookie of the Year, an MVP in 2022, and, of course, Singy, the cover man, for MLB The Show in 2018. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. Yeah, it's hard to imagine after Derek Jeter, the New York Yankees having a homegrown player that can be such a face of the franchise, but this guy's not just the face. He takes up the entire cover with his size and stature. One and two. Swing and a miss. And yeah, the count, one and two. Judge rips that one. Hernandez calls it in, and there's one away. <laughs> Willie Calhoun stands in here. For strike one. Yeah, and there's a curve through for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Here's the 0-2. That one oh. missed. Good slider down and in can one, be two. so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. The 1-2. Ground ball left side. And it gets by him. So one out with two aboard, and now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Good contact guy, good defender. Misses off the play. One and oh. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot.
Foul ball there. Next pitch misses and a count two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. So first and second with two outs. Harrison Bader, the next to hit. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. That's a strike. And a count one and one. One and one. And a pitch. That misses. Oh, Two good. and one. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. And he deals. Swings through that one. Two and two. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. That ends the frame. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back at T-Mobile Park, and today's starter, Domingo Herman. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. And here it comes. J.P. Crawford stands in here, takes ball one, one low. Next Whoa. offering is down low. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. His fourth home run of the season. The Mariners strike first. It's 1-0. Book. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. It would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Stepping in, Ty France. Into left center for a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And yeah, the batter now, Julio Rodriguez. And yeah, a foul ball. France gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Three. 
Line drive, caught! Takes it to the bag himself and doubles him off. Man, those are tough ones all the way around. As a hitter, you feel you did everything right and kind of got robbed. As a runner, you're in a really tough position trying to read the ball and get back. And as the first baseman, it's a split-second reaction to catch the line drive as you're coming off the bag. But he did a great job of having the awareness to know he could get two outs, not just the one. The why to kick the pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Second inning, set to go. In now is the Yankees DH, number 36. And the pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Oh and one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 no now. Food, one of our favorites. Jerry Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. But most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Not close with that strike. one. It's a ball and two strikes. Down and in, moved his feet. And that's down and away. The pitch. Got him looking for the strikeout. Throws him with a backdoor slider. I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball four, and he wasn't wrong. I mean, it was a close pitch. Definitely not an easy call, but especially after a long at bat, that'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. First offering misses the mark. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Check swing didn't go. And that's ball two. Just missed. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Pitch out, but no action.
The next pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. On the inside corner for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. That one not close. And now three and one. the corner for a strike. Full count. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision you don't want to get beat by a fastball and then you swing and you miss you go back to the dugout shaking your head go, now Oswaldo Cabrera that close but ball. called a ball and it's one to know Connor Falefa off of first with two away That clips the corner. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. At the belt and fires. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Bangs off the wall. In to score from first. It's 1 1. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Here's Glaber Torres. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Next offering way off the plate. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. And a pitch. Swing and a pop up. Raleigh makes the grab, and that's the inning. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double, all even at one apiece. Back after this on the show. Back here at the ballpark, here's the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. That misses no, that the zone, the two and oh. The pitch. And now it's even up. Two, two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Chris, as we look that back at the pitch sequence, look he hadn't it. seen that curveball yeah. at all. How tough Whoa. is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a 
called third strike as a fastball so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch and right there clearly didn't see what was coming. Yeah, the batter oh, now Cal Raleigh. The 1 0. And another Doing ball. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering that's upstairs. That's Three and one. And there's the strike. Full count. The punch Three. out there, two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing him where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. First offering, and it just misses. Two down, nobody on. Curveball drops in for a strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Nobody left for Seattle. Score remains tied, 1-1. Welcome back. On to the Moving third inning. Game. Here is Aaron Judge. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Up the middle, and that one handled. Fires over to first. Judge out of the play. Now batting. Shortstop. Really. Calhoun. And stepping in for the Yankees, Willie Calhoun. And he's already singled in this game. He swings and misses at the first no pitch. 0-1. One one. There's a strike. No ball. Two strikes. Hit hard, base hit. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's DJ LeMayhew. He's 0 for 1. In there, and it's 0 and 1. See, DJ LeMayhew, really good hitter, but as well, defensive versatility. And fittingly enough, he's the first winner of the Gold Glove Award that went to a utility player. He won it in 2022 in the American League. Calhoun, the runner at second with one away. Pitch misses. Now one and two. Yeah, Boog, that year, 35 games at first, 41 at second, and 47 at third. Uh, this guy's just got so much versatility, but a great hitter as well. You know, both you and I were surprised the first time that we were kind of up close and around him of how tall he is. He's six foot four. Comes a two-two. 
Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And now Bader up to the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. There's a strike. Oh and one. Rudder at second, two down. Ball one no, low. That missed. That's a ball. Man on second, two down. Then a count one and two. And a two ball and evens the count. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Trammell makes a move towards the gap. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2-1. And he'll pull into third with an RBI triple. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Man in scoring position with two away. And up next for New York, number 36. His first at bat was a strikeout. Into center. Trammell on the move as he glides back. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is that. But an RBI triple gets the Yankees a run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Seattle, here's the center fielder, Taylor Trammell. The center fielder, Taylor Trammell. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. Go two. Right back to him on the mound. Gathers and throws to first. Lead off hitter gone in the third. I didn't recognize change up earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. And now for Seattle. Jose Caballero. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed. But he can absolutely move. And it is a factor in his game. Bounce to the right side. Over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Played that ball perfectly and got the throw off across his body as well as anybody could have. Any slower, and that was probably a hit. And now the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. In for a strike. 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. There's a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Mariners are down in order. And our score remains 2-1. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Miller back to work. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. You know, these Yankees doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Kicks and deals. Ball outside. And that one oh, missing low. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. This Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Kyle Higashioka. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Got her for Leffa on the go. The Pitch ball. misses. Throw to second. Ow! Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. The 1-0. This is again oh, five in a row. Next pitch oh, misses outside. outside. Ball three. In there at the knees. That's in there. Three and two now. Helpful. Swings and misses. Struck him out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, no, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Cabrera, the next to hit, up. takes outside. There's a the strike. Good eye right there. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The two on. Now a slow roller to second. Gets it to first. That's the third out. And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. The, first the MO for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Well, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. And the 1-0. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Cabrera has a beat on it. Hauls it in for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. In now is the Mariners DH, Julio Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1. That's in there. And that is strike one. And it's quickly nothing in two. Uh, the designated hitter. The 0-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. The 0-2. 
puts it in the air out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a couple of quick outs. The left fielder, number 10. Jared. Here's Jared Kelnick. Kelnick. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Yeah. That's a strike. two now out to short toss to LeMahieu and the Mariners set down one two three Mariners go down quietly there and they trail it here two to one back at T-Mobile Park ready now for the fifth inning here's Glaber Torres The right-hander back to work. And a foul ball. Fouled off. He was late. Oh, and two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground, Caballero whips it to first. And Glaber Torres retired. Now that right fielder, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge at the plate. Chris, how about the pressure for Judge chasing Maris's mark when you get to a place in the year that you're either homering or your at-bat was a failure? And ball one to the right fielder. <laughs> Just difficult. I mean, and this is such a team player type of person and Aaron Judge. It's interesting just the dynamic of him having the opportunity to tie and break that record, but also being so focused on getting the W for his club because nothing matters more in New York than a World Series championship. Swing and a miss. And it's 2-1 two two now. Right. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Here's a two-two. And now the count filled up three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Center field. Trammell settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Now that shortstop. Willie now it's the shortstop, Willie Calhoun. Check swing, now it appealed to third. Didn't go. Left hand hitter waits. They say it went. One and one. Next Two offering in the dirt. Two and one. And that's in the dirt. Three, one, and he couldn't come up with it. 
It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show now some signs out. of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. So two down. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. That one the other way. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One left for the Yankees, but they still lead it two to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Eugenio Suarez. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. No, that missed. One and one. That misses That's off the outside edge. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And it's filled up. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. He was a strikeout victim his first time. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Gets the inside corner for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Righty delivers. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Struck out swinging his first time. And there's a ball. Here comes a pitch. In for a strike. And a count even at one. Suarez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next pitch is outside. That one missed. On oh, this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, boo. Taylor Trammell waits on deck. 3 2 now. That's a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. First and second, one out. Here's Taylor Trammell, 0 for 1 so far. That's in for a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo.
Deal one. Swing and a miss. Oh and two. Laser base hit. Headed for the plate. One runs in. Relay throw. But it's offline. It's 3 2. It's a clutch at bat and could be one of the biggest ones of the game as they jump ahead by one. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. One out, runner at second. Jose Caballero getting ready to hit. And the first pitch out. misses for ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. Down the line towards the corner. That one hops against the fence. The run comes in from second, and they lead by two. Not stopping, he's going for three. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. And that's just foul. Still only one out here in the inning. The next offering misses, and it's one and two. Struck him out looking. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. France up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Five innings complete. It's the Mariners four and the Yankees two. New pitcher for the Mariners, Matt Brash. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early now if they're going to have any chance. Number 47, Matt Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. One for two. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. To third. And it goes just foul. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Got him swinging. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi run home run. Number 36 in the box again takes a strike.
That misses. And now it's even one and one. In the air to left center. This looks like extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Now back up. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Now the left fielder, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. That's in there. Strike one. Right-handed reliever, and that's in for a strike. One out, and a runner at second. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And he deals. Way outside. Two balls, two strikes. Runner leads away at second. And now it's three and two. Kyle Higashioka waiting to hit for the Yankees. And there's ball four. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way on. And now, Kyle Higashioka, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First offering, misses the mark. And the pitch. One one. Runners at first and second with one gone. And another no, ball. Home well plate umpires try to tighten things up a little bit. Inside just missed. I know a slider is a great pitch, but when you've got really good velocity, sometimes you just got to challenge the hitter with that four seamer. Oswaldo Cabrera on deck for the Yankees. And the pitch. That smash towards center. Makes the grab. Two down. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Yeah. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Going one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch misses way outside. At the belt and fires. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Yank strand a pair. They trail it here, four to two.
Michael King gets the ball now. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job Ladies against right-handed bats so far this season. Lee. They've had a now, lot Patrick of trouble squaring him up. Number 34, Michael King. King. Three, four, five due up for the home team. Julio Rodriguez now at the plate. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. Bullpen activity starting up now. Wandy Peralta getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Here's the 0-1. And the pitch is outside, ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get You're it right. right where you want it. On the ground to third. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. And he's got a double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jared Kellner. And that's outside. Oh. Next one Outside, is off the play, ball. and it's 2-0. and oh. Good eye ball. right there. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position, and a hitter's count. And a 3-0 finds his own. Rodriguez at second with nobody out. Bounce to the left side. Tosses across the first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got a ground ball. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Ball one, no strikes. Move to second, no, Rodriguez mistake. back in on a dive. That misses, Down, and the count is 2-0. and oh. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys ball. when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Right. Next pitch in for a strike, 3-1. Three and one. Three and one. Three and two now. Got it by him for the K. Up next. And now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Next offering oh, misses, it. and it's one and one. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page, and that's something that this guy... Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And caught on the warning track. Mariners leave one, but they still lead this one four to two. Trevor got on the pitch out of the pen here. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Mariners. Number 30, Trevor. Yeah. 
Here comes Glaber Torres. One for three. The second base is Glaber Torres. The pitch. That's to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here comes Aaron Judge. Out towards right center field. Trammell on the move to the gap. Makes the grab after a long run. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And next for New York, Willie Calhoun. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. That one at the knees for a strike. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Chris Flexen appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Saucedo, a left-hander, also throwing. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's no, really not. important oh. to getting back into this ballgame. Torres leads off first with one away. The Yankees looking to rally. And the righty deals. And the one two misses to even the count. And the two two. Grounder might be two. France tossed the second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Mariners four and the Yankees two. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jimmy Cordero. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Teoscar Hernandez digs in now. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Everything came together for him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Taylor Trammell, the next to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. High fly ball, right field. Judge is under it. And out number one on the grab. Now that the second base. Jose. Jose Caballero will hit next. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. He's got it. There's two away. The batter, number three, 
shortstop, J.P. So the lineup flips over, and stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. He's already homered in this game. Pickoff move to first. Hernandez back in standing. On the ground right side. Torres handles. Inning over. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mariners four and the Yankees two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Chris Flexen. And he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. DJ LeMayhew to start it off. The pitch. Just missed. Movement in the bullpen. Paul Seawall appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Off the plate, and that's ball two. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Suarez pulls it in on the run. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his bat down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and put it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Bader stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Next offering is in for a strike. Lifted in the air right center field. Caballero settles under this one. Snags it for the second out. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Two outs, base is empty. In now is the Yankees DH, number 36. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Yeah. That's in there. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Bottom of the eighth. Now the number go, two hitter, go, Ty go. France. The first base. And a pitch. Yeah. And there's the strike. Right-hander kicks deals. That's the ball. One and two. Oh. 
Got him. One out. Now yeah. Julio Rodriguez. Julio. Now at the plate. There's a strike. They say you win. I went to. Oh, and two now. Wouldn't chase that time. One, two. Foul ball still a one and two count. One down, base is empty. Off the two outside and edge, and now the count is two and two. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He sends it out of here, and they add to the lead. It's 5-2. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's the left fielder, Jared Kellner. First pitch oh. doesn't find the zone. Left-hand hitter waits. That one's on its way. No question about it, and that one will go. His 11th of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 6-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Wandy Peralta gets the call from the pen. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Base is empty, one away. Now the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. A strikeout and a walk. First pitch, no, just down. misses. Kicks and deals. And yeah, that's outside. Two will count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Started to go yeah. after it. Now a look down to first. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. Here comes a pitch. And now three and one. And he walked so him. That's ball four, runner take your base. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally oh, prepared, yeah, knowing that if it's not on the team, you're going to take that yeah. pitch because you still oh, have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Yeah. 
Raleigh at the plate now. That's ball one. So two and balls and no ball. strikes. Last two pitches have been down in the Here zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. The pitch. That's in there. And it's two and one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And now the lefty runner takes off and a foul ball. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Man at first, Teoscar Hernandez getting ready to hit. In there for strike one. No ball, one strike. Suarez, the runner at first with two gone. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Two outs. And ball one. One ball, two strikes. Out to short, Calhoun. And that is the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Last chance coming up here for the Yankees. We go to the ninth, and stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah kiner falefa The why to kick the pitch. Flexen, it is third season. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a slider. And he'll one. That's through there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Blows the high knee past him. That's a strikeout. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years, and what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. Ah. Higashioka in the box now. No balls and a strike. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. The line of the pitch. That's off the mark, and the count is one and two. It's a good take. And now the count well, is even. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. A very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. Cabrera in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Next offering down in the dirt. One ball, one strike. And the right hander deals. No, that missed. No, 
And that one is lifted in the air. Trammell glides to his left. And that is the ball game. What a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. And your final 6-2 to two for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.